Hey guys, welcome to Offshoot Comics Off Topic. We're your host, Kirby Kidd. And Black Superman. Also known as David Clark. And Walter Bryant. And today we are talking about Batman The Dark Knight Returns Part 2. Okay, so Part 1 was awesome. Yep. Part 2, it had so much, um, like, just flavor that you that you had to go through. I mean, you know, Batman getting around to doing things that he should have done when he was younger. Yes, okay, he kills the Joker and it was one of the most satisfying things I've ever seen on a screen. <laughs> I was like, thank you, make the clown shut up. <laughs> well, okay, to be fair, Bruce Wayne by this time is like 60 years and old don't care. And, and doesn't care. Yeah, yeah. and he, he's, kind of, he's kind of old and pissed off. So he's like, yeah, you know what? I'm not playing with you now. I'm just going to break your neck. Mm -hmm. Now, somehow he unbroke his neck, laughed at him, and then rebroke his neck. I don't, I don't understand that. But hey, he's dead, and that's what counts. Yeah, Joker looked creepy. He's Joker. I mean, no, but there, there's a certain level of creepy I expect from the Joker. You know, there's, there's the level of creepy where you've got, you know, on, on, uh, what is it? Um, not Teen Titans. Uh, you know the other one that that show that we watch on Saturdays. Young Justice. Yeah, that's the one. Okay, <laughs> when you, when you see him there on Young Justice, he's a uh, he's kind of the slick back mobster looking guy. Yeah, but not the crazy guy. Yeah, but not the crazy guy. Well, and, it's a kid show. Yeah, and then you know you watch him on Batman the Animated Series, and he's kind of the creepy clown guy. Yeah. On this, he was kind of a mixture of that with a little bit of Heath Ledger. He didn't look like Heath Ledger. I'm just saying. Really but, weird. Yeah, he just looked really strange and just kind of freaky. Yeah. I mean, he killed a lot of people. Uh, well, yeah. <laughs> a lot of people. And He's, and while Batman was trying to stop it, the cops were like, let's attack Batman because the new chief of police wants to prove that she's awesome. But you're not because you suck. Because you went up to the Batman. See, all the cops know. He, he's Batman. Leave him alone. Yeah. And they're like, he's a murderer now. Really? You're mad because he killed the Joker? That's what you're, you're upset about? Joker. Yeah, because she she was in love with Joker. You, 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 don't, you don't know. She she was Harley Quinn's niece's nephew's sister. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, so that was dumb. Uh, and then when I liked when she realized, okay, wait, no, he's Batman. He's too big. We we can't fight him. I mean, we're just a thousand cops. <laughs> How could a thousand cops beat Batman? You mean a thousand and one? With that one being anyone from the league? Nah, you would still lose. Pretty much, yeah. He's pretty much. Oh, and then of course there was the greatest part of the entire movie. The lie. The, the Superman lie. beatdown. First of all, he hit the nuke, which was hilarious because he was all like, oh, I'm all skinny because I can't stand nukes like the Hulk can. And then he ate flowers. He killed plant life to get back his strength. I mean, okay. he's, he's a parasite. I waited a long time for this. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so. To now, now he's a parasite who takes orders from Ronald Reagan, which I have no idea why. By the way, Ronald Reagan was kind of a shifty kind of guy in this in this one. That I was, don't know. That was true. I don't know if that's what if that was a message because I wasn't alive during that time, so I don't know how people felt about him. Okay, to be perfectly honest, I was only about eight years old when Ronald Reagan was around. So, like, <laughs> but from what I but from what I remember, he has about right. Oh, okay. All right, with well it, uh, and then uh, he fights Batman. Which is a big mistake because you cannot fight the Batman, um, and and Superman even, yeah, you know, he he started. He's like, where do you want to fight? Written in laser. And he was all like, all right, let's do this. He got the crap kicked out of him, and then they were fighting. That's well, not ah! true. Then they were, then they were fighting even ground, and then Green Arrow uh, shot a synthesized arrow that uh, Batman made, which is only fair because Superman cut off all his arm, which was just bull crap. That's bro code violations of different kinds of levels I've never even heard of. <laughs> and then when he's on the ground because of the kryptonite, Batman's all like, you, you will remember this. The one man who beat you. And he's like, now I will fake my death. <laughs> okay. Yeah, like, like that's, amazing. That's, that's sort of what happened. That is exactly that's what happened. Not, that's not exactly what word happened. Word for word, that is what happened. That is not exactly what happened. Look, Superman basically was, was, was winning this fight but he didn't want to win the fight. No. He kept telling Bruce, stay down. Just stop fighting me. I don't want to kill you. Then he got hit with the kryptonite. Batman cheated. No, Batman, Batman can't cheat. cheated. By virtue of being Batman, he cannot cheat. Batman cheated. Batman can't break the rules. He is the rules. <laughs> he cheated. He 
He cheated. He cheated. He had backup. Okay, now granted, it's Superman. But that's not the point. He had backup. He had kryptonite. Superman. Superman. Superman, Superman won that fight. Superman has an ally, too. It's called The Sun. Superman won no, that fight. No, he didn't. He won. No, he, he didn't. Won. Batman even said, I, if I used a stronger agent or different chemicals or whatever, I could have killed you. But I didn't want to. He could have did it. Superman won. Batman. I mean, he lost. Ba- Batman was so Superman much better, he showed mercy. Superman lost, but he won. No. He, it, no it, it was a moral victory. No. And then he, then he went to the funeral, and he was like, oh, he's still alive. I'm terrible. And then he left because he realized he couldn't do anything about it. That's really not true. That is he totally could, true. He could have totally laserized you, Bruce. You he, know Batman had a plan already. Yeah, well, he knew Batman had a plan already. Like, there, there, there was no way that Superman really thought that that was it. No, he did. That's why he was surprised when he heard the heartbeat. He's like, oh. Yeah, he was surprised. But he wasn't surprised. He was surprised. Because he turned around, looked at Robin, stared at her for a second, then winked and left. Because no one could beat the Batman. He could have laser-eyed Batman no, right there. That that, that would have been the no, end. He probably, he probably would have laser-eyed it, and then it would have bounced off and realized, oh no, it's kryptonite. Then he would have failed you know, again, and then Batman would have got out and put him in his own grave and then killed him. And it but you know what? But you know what's funny? It's like, yeah, we'll, we'll never agree on this. We, no, we won't, because yeah. Batman won. No, no, Superman won. But that's neither, that's neither here nor there. That's, that's, that's here and there. When when they get to the cave after Bruce comes back, mm-hmm. and they're discussing everything, you know, um, all the people who have joined him are like, so is Superman going to come after us? And he's like, no, I think we have an understanding. Which basically is, okay, look, I'm going to disappear. I, you won't see me anymore. You leave us alone. Or Which, we'll come back and kill you. No, no, no. Yeah. Superman. Superman now knows that they synthesized kryptonite. Before that, he didn't. There, there wasn't. Any, there wasn't really any. But he next, knows that there's there's synthesized. Next kryptonite time, Batman suit will be made out of golden kryptonite, which will just auto take his powers from him. Yeah, except for Superman will be wearing lead, so it won't happen. And he'll no, just crush no, him. no, it'll, it'll happen. It'll happen. It won't happen. It, he, but he's the Batman. Are you doubting the Batman? Yes, I am. Oh, against Superman. Oh my God, I, he just doubted, I the, doubted Batman. the Batman uh, to the whole only internet. against Superman. No, only against Superman. Point is, point is. In the 80s, Batman beat him, and he's only gotten better since then. So Superman. Okay, no, but either, Superman but even here that changed at all. <laughs> but, but, but here's the thing. Okay, now what one, one of the things we we we've discussed before is the fact that people have this argument about which one would win, and we both know that the truth of the matter is is Batman. that no. The one who would win would be the one the who Knight. decided to kill the other one first, and Batman decided that. This time. And would always do that. No, no, no. No. If Superman woke up one morning and said, I'm going to take over the world, we both know the first thing he would do is go to Bruce Wayne's house Who was all prepared. Him. He'd be like, oh, I expected this. That was actually a bat drone that you killed, and I'm actually underground because I'm Batman and can't be allowed well, to be killed. Yeah, but Superman already knows where Batman would be underground because no. the only person on the entire planet Batman trusts... But then, but then, he, but then he doesn't even trust no, Robin as then, much as he trusts but then, Superman. But then he would go underground and realize it was a trap and it was a gigantic kryptonite bomb. And Superman and Batman's really up in the watchtower shooting lasers at him. Now it wouldn't happen. Batman. The first thing that would happen would be Superman would go to the, would go to Wayne Manor and be like, "Hey Bruce, we need to talk. It's be over." No. And then he Batman would, take would over somehow the world. still be okay. No, oh, no. Batman. You would have found out that that morning he went to the Lazarus Pit, and now he's immortal. <laughs> And now he'd be immortally fried. No, nope, he'd be immortally awesome because he's the Batman. But <laughs> but the point is that, like, if Batman were to wake up one morning and decide he's taking over the planet, he'd kill Superman. Like he did I mean, in this movie. No, no, he didn't kill him. He beat he him He could have. And he made a point. He's but, like, I want you to remember that I could have done it, but I didn't. Superman could have killed Batman throughout most of that fight. No. I mean, he no, ripped no. his chest plate no, open. That, All he had to that do, fight happened the exact way Bruce wanted it to go. That's why he looked worried because not one time. Because he knew that Clark wasn't just going to kill him. If Clark, no, if, if no. Superman, he knew exactly if Superman had out. done, if, if Superman had done what I would have done with those powers, which is, you know what, Bruce, then this would have been over. It wouldn't happen because he would have been like he would like move out the way, or he would have had the kryptonite thing happen way way earlier. Yeah, Ali he's, wasn't anywhere nearby. He's, he's the Batman. Nah. The, and then he it, could do wouldn't it, it wouldn't happen. You know, it, it, not only not only would it happen, it did happen. Wouldn't happen. It totally Can't happen. Happened. Never would totally happen. Happened. That book is not canon. That Thank book is God. totally canon. But but one thing we I mean, I, and, and you know, and I love that book. I mean, I really love that book. I just 
I just have that one, well, two problems. I have that problem. I also have the problem with Superman destroying the rainforest because he was, you know, blown up by a nuke. But that being said, okay, you said something about, you know, the Hulk, that not happening. Yeah. Okay, the Hulk in Days of Future Past, which mm-hmm. you've never read, I'm going to let you know. I heard it. that it sucks. Days of Future Past was awesome. <laughs> that was where the Hulk fought the Maestro. And the Maestro specifically said, I jumped around the planet dodging nukes because they would kill me. They wouldn't kill him. But because he got outside of their blast radius, their nuclear power made him stronger. They wouldn't kill him. They would have killed him. They would him. not kill him. No. The Maestro, who is the older, stronger Hulk, said, I no, had no, to dodge no, the no, nukes. No. Maestro couldn't do it because, see, once Maestro became evil and selfish and stupid, he lost... That awesomeness that made him Hulk. So what about the Devil Hulk, which you want to see? I really want to see it. <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I don't know. Listen to us Saturdays at I think I think it's seven now, seven or six. Go on our website, OptionComics.com. The top right of the website, you'll see all of our dates and times and stuff. Uh, they're up there, and also you can just actually click the schedule, and you'll be able to listen to Krypton Radio. Because we're convenient like that. Yeah, and also, you know, contact us if you would like to uh, get into comic book writing. Mm-hmm. Or, drawing, or drawing, yeah. Um, with, at offshootcomics at gmail.com mm-hmm. or on our website, yeah. offshootcomics.com. There's a, there is a contact us button. Contact mm-hmm. us. Yeah, contact us. With the button that I will be, be creating immediately after this <laughs> video. <laughs> because, uh, you know, <laughs> Offshoot Comics rules the world. Yeah, so uh, also we will be at WonderCon. Uh, where most of our books will come out, we'll and I ruling WonderCon. And I believe to this side of me, you will see something, maybe Rays, maybe something from Heretic. It really depends on how I feel when I'm editing this. <laughs> but whatever it is, it'll be ours. Yes, and you will enjoy it and love it. So uh, until next time, we've been your hosts, Kirby Kid and Black Superman. See you later, guys.